Hey guys, today's picture slash short story is one of my favorites as a kid, and I know it's a lot of others too. Uh, it's called Where the Wild Things Are by Maurice Sendek. You can kind of see the picture. Cool little scenery with a monster in a boat. So let's see. Where the Wild Things Are. The night Max wore his wolf suit and made mischief of one kind. So what's he doing? He is hammering into the wall in his wolf suit. Looks like he's building a, a tent. And another. Oh, he's chasing the dog. His mother called him Wild Thing, and Max said, I'll eat you up. So he was, was sent to bed without eating anything. There he is in his bedroom. He looked really close. He looks kind of mad. But if you've ever been sent to bed without dinner, you'd probably be mad too. That very night in Max's room, a forest grew. I'm guessing that never happened to you. And grew. Now his bed's missing. He looks kind of happy about it. and grew until his ceiling hung with vines and the walls became the world all around. So his bedroom is completely gone now. In an ocean tumbled by with a private boat for Max and he sailed off through the night and day. So oh, there he is, sailing, sailing off on his boat just for him. And in and out of weeks and almost over a year to where the wild things are. He meets a sea monster of some sort. But he doesn't look too scared, does he? And when he came to the place where the wild things are, they roared their terrible wars and gnashed their terrible teeth and rolled their terrible eyes and showed their terrible claws. So you can see them all. Big ones or a small one. They all have terrible teeth, teeth, claws, some scary eyes. Some has horns, but he doesn't look too scared. If you look a little close over here, he doesn't look scared. He looks annoyed. Till Max said, be still, and tamed them with a the magic trick of staring into all their yellow eyes without blinking Without blinking once, and they were frightened and called him the most wild thing of all. So there he is, staring at them, scaring them. They, they all calm down. It made him king of all wild things. And now, cried Max, let the wild rumpus start. Seems to be getting more and more monsters coming in. They're having a wild rumpus. Looks like they're partying and having fun and dancing around. Now they're climbing trees. Now they're marching and he's riding the back of one of the big monsters. Or a wild thing. Now stop, Max said, and sent the wild things off to bed without their supper. And Max, the king of all wild things, was lonely and wanted to be where someone loved him best of all. Then, all around from far away across the world, he smelled good things to eat. So he gave up being king of where the wild things are. So he looks kind of sad. They're all sleeping because he sent them to bed without well, supper. But the wild things cries, oh, please don't go. We'll eat you up. We love you so. And Max said, no. The wild things roared their terrible roars and gnashed their terrible, terrible teeth and rolled their terrible eyes and showed their terrible claws. But Max stepped into his private boat and waved them goodbye. Well, there they are. While their terrible teeth, eyes, claws, roars. There's Max just saying bye. And sailed back over a year and in and out of weeks and through a day. Looks like he's ready to fall asleep. 
and into the night of his very own room, where he found his supper waiting for him. So there he is. And there's his supper. So he didn't go. He, he wasn't going to go hungry after all. And it was still hot. That's the end of that book. So this one, I know there's a short uh, animated short special of it. Not sure how long it is, and don't know if you can even find it anymore. But there is a full like, movie live action with a little boy going there. It's interesting. I recommend kind of watching it. But otherwise, this is one of my favorites. I was a Max when I was a kid. Some of you might have been too. Hope you enjoyed it. Until next time.